friends welcome back to the canada info Hub channel my name is wolo i live in winnipeg manitoba and um i love to talk about everything canada welcome back to this channel and if this is the first time you are seeing my face or seeing my videos i would say thank you and request that you subscribe to this channel and give me some thumbs up yeah i usually say destroy the like button but you know that's fast um last week was sad and kind of crazy and had so much drama but thankfully we are in another week and we are alive and it's something to be thankful for so if you are alive and if you're healthy if you don't have anything um worrying you you don't have any issues you just say a word of gratitude for yourself but if you are going through some things in your life and all that just stay positive and know that these trying times will pass nothing lasts forever um most of these challenges that we face in life they just come to test our resilience and um somehow at the end there's always light at the end of the tunnel so just stay positive and believe that whatever you're going through you would eventually come out of it so that's my word of encouragement to you um if you are passing through anything that is not so good in your life we need to encourage ourselves sometimes you know sometimes this world just things are just turning upside down with so much drama everywhere with this whole lockdown and all that but um we should be thankful for being alive and also hope for um the good days to come so that's my <laughs> this is my positive words of encouragement to you watching this video so there were two updates recently um that was mentioned by the minister of immigration um in one conference that he attended um i'll be playing the video shortly so that you hear what the updates were i think they've even announced them yeah they've announced them one had to do with family sponsorships people who had their spouses living outside canada can now sponsor their spouse to come into canada and then for also international students they can now come into canada to um, start their studies you'll be listening to the video shortly and then um, after that, I will talk about the second update. We have been uh, putting into place a, a number of different initiatives to ensure that we're addressing the priorities that have emerged during the pandemic. And so these, these include making sure that worker visas are issued so that people can come and add to those parts of our economy where there are persistent labor gaps, um, and, but also around family reunification because this has been a truly difficult time for loved ones who are apart. And so in response to that, um, we have done a number of things. Just by way of example, we have said that we are going to process 49,000 family sponsorship applications by the end of the year. We've also broadened the definition of family members so that those who want to come and reunite with their family on a temporary basis are able to do so at the border. We've also introduced a pathway for people who need to come to Canada on the basis of compassionate reasons to uh, to enter. And, and I mentioned earlier, the international student program is just now starting to get back up on, on its feet. And so all of these priorities we are actioning. We are seeing um, a high degree of productivity, and I'm very proud of that work. And that will extend into our levels plan. It will extend into... Uh, the the express entry program, which is truly, I think, the flagship of our of our program when it comes to economic immigration, a program which has been lauded by the OECD as being the best in class uh, when it comes to integrating immigrants, and we are going to build on those successes going forward. So that was the Minister of Immigration talking about the family sponsorship and the plans that they have concerning express entry you also heard that as well so from all indication immigration still continues by november they'll be announcing the new levels of immigration and so you should just keep your fingers crossed once it is announced i'll definitely publish that information on this channel now the second update has to do with the rural and northern immigration pilot. I know a lot of people will like say, "Oh, you've come again." RNIP. It's not easy for people to you know get jobs from outside Canada. It is true, but this particular community is so unique, and I want you to check the community out. The community is North Bay. They recently launched their rural and northern immigration pilot, 
and it is unique in the sense that um, people from outside Canada, people from inside Canada can apply for jobs. They will be the ones posting the jobs on their websites because they have to verify the employers themselves. So they will verify the employers and if the employers are eligible to hire people, they will now post the jobs on their website. And they have four different categories of occupation, which is very interesting. They have the healthcare sector, they have the finance and administrative sector, they have the information technology sector, and they have, um, I think, one other sector that was mentioned. So there are four sectors, and in these four sectors, they have 28 eligible occupations where they'll be posting job offers for um, people to apply and possibly come to Canada um, through this means. So it is very open to both people in Canada and people outside Canada. And in their website, which I will show you shortly, they also mention that if you're going to use a representative to help you search for a job, you are good to go. So if you feel you can't do the job search yourself by applying for the jobs, you can actually talk to your representative to help you search for a job in that community. And of course, you need a Canadian standard resume. And I'll be leaving the link of the website where you can go to get your Canadian standard resume. If you want to do it yourself, it's fine. You can do it yourself. But if you want a professional person to touch your resume for you, it's fine. Um, just check the description box of this video and you will find the details of the professional that can give you a Canadian standard resume for a token or a fee. Okay, so that's it. I will be showing you shortly on the North Bay website um, how to navigate the website and search for the necessary information that you need. There are no jobs that have been posted on the website yet, but you should just keep your eyes on the website. Another thing is some of the occupations are actually regulated occupations, so they might actually favor people who are already in Canada and who must have gotten a Canadian education. Um, so it's quite tricky, especially occupations in engineering. You know, engineering is a regulated occupation. They might be wanting to look at someone who already has the educational qualification living in Canada. But if you are outside Canada, it doesn't stop you from applying. There are also opportunities for medical doctors, general physicians, nurses, personal support workers, early childhood educators. The, the, the whole idea is uh, do, don't just, you know, push it aside to say, okay, this is very difficult for me. There's no harm in putting in your resume and there's no harm in applying for jobs. As long as you have applied, you just apply. You don't know what's going to happen if the employer will be interested in you and call you for interviews and then um, sponsor your coming to Canada. And if you have a family member who is living in Canada, you can also tell the person to apply for jobs on your behalf as well. And if you are in Canada as a visitor and you're looking for a way to transit to become a permanent resident, this is also another opportunity for you to target your job search in North Bay and you might be lucky to get a job offer that will make you uh, become a permanent resident in Canada eventually. So I'll be showing you on the website how to navigate the website and after that I'll give you one more good news. This is the website of North Bay Rural and Northern Immigration Pilot and for anybody who is interested I encourage you to come to this website and um, go through it thoroughly so that you understand the requirements. If you click on information for applicants like I just did you scroll down, you see the application process and steps. Click on find full-time employment in the community. You will see frequently asked questions. You will see build your candidate profile, which is coming soon. And then you will see um, other details concerning the occupations that have been chosen in this community. And there are lots of them under healthcare, but you know that most of the healthcare occupations are regulated. Um, for people who are registered nurses, I will encourage you to apply as nurse aides, orderlies, and patient service associates if you are applying from outside Canada. For early childhood educators and assistants, you can also apply. And then you have home support workers, housekeepers, and related occupations as well. Then if you go to trade license or unlicensed, you will see all these occupations listed. And if you know that you can do any of these jobs, 
ensure that you must have met the eligibility criteria before you apply. Under business administration, all these occupations are also listed as eligible and also for information technology, these occupations are listed as eligible. And then under the open knock category, which is reserved for 10 applicants, you have specific occupations that they want. So they want engineers, aviation technicians, pilots, architecture, legal, supervisors in call centers and chefs. If you scroll up and click employment, you will see the information concerning job listings coming soon, like I mentioned earlier. And then click on community criteria. This is very important. It's very important for you to know the community criteria. Take your time and go through this candidate recommendation criteria. It's very important to know if you will be able to meet the criteria before you apply. So don't just jump into application only. It is very important to read this candidate recommendation criteria because you might get the job. Another thing is getting the recommendation from the community. But one thing is very important in this web page, which I, I want to highlight here, which is interviews. It says applicants who apply from outside Canada must be available for a 15 to 30 minute video conference interview with an RNIP representative. This is also an indication that some of the job offers might be given to people who are outside Canada. So, um, like I mentioned earlier, check the community recommendation criteria. And if it is something you can meet, then you can go ahead and start applying for jobs. I'll be leaving details of the website on the description box of this video so that you can take your time to go through the website. So that was the details of how to navigate the North Bay website. I'll be leaving the link on the description box of this video. And finally, for those who have waited from the beginning of this video until now, I want to announce that one of the immigration consultants will be giving out a 70% discount on consultations as a result of what was happening back home. And you'll find the details also in the description box of this video. There is a discount code for the consultations. It's 70% off. Um, normally, for you to consult with a consultant, you might be paying like $150. That's the minimum they charge, um, depending on who you're consulting with. If you're consulting with a lawyer, they charge higher than that. But for consultants, $150. And if you book your consultation with the consultant, you'll be paying 30% of the consultation fee, which is very affordable, extremely affordable. So this is the time, this is the opportunity. It's just a limited period. Uh, and it's going to end very soon. So take advantage of this and book your consultation with the consultant. So that's the information I want to share today. Thank you so much for watching and see you in my next video. Bye-bye.